and welcome back to the White Dog Music. It might be back, you might be a first time caller, I don't know, but welcome, whatever, whatever you are. I've been having a little look at uh, the Boss IR2 amp and cabinet. And when I first got this, uh, when I first got this bad boy, it came a week or two back, and this is the first time I've had a chance to really sort of sit down and mess around with it. Um, I realised that the idea actually was to was to kind of go through all of the sounds, but it just it does just does way too much. Um, so what I've done is I have trimmed it down into one sound per video. Otherwise, we'd just be here all night. Um, so I have decided to start at the top, although I think it's the bottom of the boss list with the R fire. The R fire, as I am led to believe, is based on the Mesa Boogie. I'm fairly right. I'm fairly certain. I think uh, not the triaxis, but the dual rectifier. So the so it's that classic metal thing um, that that it's kind of looking to emulate. So as it's the it's the cab and it's the the head. So it's got Celestion speakers in there. I understand. Uh, I think it's four tens. I think we'll double check that for you. But I'm fairly certain four twelves. Okay. So it's a it's a four twelve, and they're Celestion vintage twenties. And as I said, it's the Mesa Boogie dual rectifier, two channels that that particular sound is is based on. Um, I should say it's not my go. It would never be my go-to sound. That kind of metal scooped kind of metal sound isn't necessarily a go-to for me particularly. And it's not my personal favourite uh, sound on the on the pedal, but it is still pretty awesome. I think it's still very usable, um, and I have had lots of fun messing around with it this afternoon and putting together. A few demos and just little bits and pieces just to kind of illustrate it really i think it's awesome it's a great little thing and uh i suppose the iridium would be the iridium wouldn't it by uh strymon which it kind of competes with or doesn't really because the iridium by strymon's got three heads and three cabs it's got your vox it's got your kind of marshall and it's got your boogie type but this kind of in terms of sort of what it does, functionality, um, appears to sort of blow it out of the water a little bit, really. Uh, even though the Strymon is a great sounding bit of kit, I've got one here somewhere I've used on for a long time since they came out. So if you're going straight into computer, it's fantastic, but it seems to be that the boss is my new kind of go-to, really. Um, so let's uh, just outline what we're going to do here. I have knocked together a few, I've knocked together a few well, a few demos, the same demo played a few times with a few guitar parts. And what I thought it'd be nice to do is just look at the R fire sound and then just apply it with three different kind of parts, with three different sounds, and just see how they all kind of sound together and give you a nice broad overview of how this pedal works and sounds. Simple enough, right? I suppose the only other thing we should say is that it's got a three band EQ on it, as you'd expect. Bass, middle, and treble, obviously. It's got these really nice stacked pots. I love stacked pots. So on the top of each of your EQs, you've got an ambience, you've got a level, which is your level, you know, your volume, and it's got your gain. So it's really, really nicely laid out there's no reverb on the unit which i suppose is fine you know you don't want something that does too much stuff you want something like this that does what it does awesomely and you can get your favorite reverb can't you that's kind of what you can do um so again as always just uh, just awesome quality um a couple of outputs so you can do your stereo thing channel selector input and uh return and send so let's plug this bad boy in and let's see how it sounds. Okay, so we've got everything kind of plugged in and uh, ready to go. Uh, I think we've got everything fairly sort of central 
at the moment. Uh, the only thing I haven't got uh, is the, uh, you can see there, hopefully, uh, you can see the, the level. It's quite a loud old thing this is. So yeah, level level's quite happy down there really. I suppose we'll start, look, we're only going with one sound. We're only talking about the uh, the heavy sound, the refire sound. So uh, we'll have a look, very quick look at the EQ, I guess. Um, I mean, the bass I had a fiddle around with earlier and I have to say, um, the bass seemed to be quite sort of subtle. Um, yeah, it's definitely kicking in there, isn't it? Um, Full beans bass, eh? Full beans bass right the way up. Who needs a bass player? Eh? But we'll keep that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it uh, not off central, just a smidgen for that slightly kind of scooped kind of sound, which is what I'm presuming the vast majority of people using this pedal are going to kind of be interested in, in using. So I'll keep it slightly off. Uh, the bass is going to stay at roughly 11 o'clock, something like that. 10, let's go for 10.30. We'll go for 10.30. Um, so in the middle, uh, in the middle, you've got your middle, right? Your mids, right? again. You can dial them back if we like a bit. Get your mids down to kind of nine o'clock if you want. Uh, I'm going to keep them up, kind of, again, because we want those mids in there. I'm going to keep them at about half one, two-ish. Uh, amb ambience, sorry, we, we didn't go on ambience, did we? Uh, ambience, not, um, not hearing huge changes in the ambience on this. Present there. Um, could just be my ears though. That's yeah, quite quite subtle the ambience on that on that setting. Let's dial it all the way in though. Yeah. Oh well look, let's keep the ambience in the middle. Um, I'm not hearing huge uh, or hearing huge differences there, but then you don't, sometimes you don't need to write, sometimes it's about subtle touches. Uh, and then we've got the, uh, we've got the treble, haven't we? Um, we know what the treble's gonna do, right? It's gonna blast our ears. So when here that kicks in, that really kicks in kind of straight away. When we take it off, Dial it in there a little bit more. Cronk, cronk, cronk. Let's dial it all the way around and see what we've got. Yeah, we'll um, we'll end up with ear fatigue at some point, won't we? For that. We're going to end up with ear fatigue with that. So again, I'm going to keep it, um, keep it kind of dialed in a little bit. Um, I tell you what, we'll do. let's leave it. Uh, let's just leave it. Let's leave it at twelve o'clock for now. Um, and then on the top, yeah, you got your level. Uh, you, sorry, your gain. Let's see what it's like with no gain. Like it's ever going to be used with no gain, right? Oh, we're going to, have to adjust the level for that, aren't we? Okay, so with no level, sorry, with no gain, we get zero and zilch, zilch, zilch. So you won't be getting any nice clean guitar sounds. With so what's that? That's at about uh, about nine o'clock, give or take. Quite sort of hard sounding. 
Seems to kind of seems to so there you go. That's what we're kind of sounding like in terms of uh, in terms of. EQing and various bits and gubbins that are on the on the pedal itself. A uh, wide range of stuff happening. Some of it quite subtle, um, and some of it more in your face. You know. Let's have a listen to this first track, uh, and I'll show you the settings that I used for this particular part. Okay, so um, for this part, and I'm at this point, I'm very very glad that I kept. What I used because I would have forgotten. All right, so for this one we had the ambience in the middle. Uh, yeah, we had the bass at about kind of eleven-ish, which is where I've tended to like it generally. Uh, level, we right, were kind of up there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, gain. Did we really use all of the gain? Treble, I think, was up there a little bit, up at kind of about one o'clock. Did we really rock all the gain for that one? Is this the right one? Let me just make sure I'm looking at the right one. Hang on a second. No, I'm not I'm looking at the third one. I did, I did less gain for these. Oh, no, I did less gain. Settings are basically the same. Um, so, all right. So this one, the game was actually uh, at around 3 o'clock. So for this particular rhythm part... That's our sound, or that's my sound that I chose for uh, guitar part number one, which went on to sound a little bit like this. Okay, so I should say that if you like uh, the sounds that we're creating here using the IR2, if you like anything we've done, if you like any of the Boss Wiser stuff, any of that kind of stuff that I spent a little bit of time recently playing around with, you can find links to everything in our Tommen store uh, down below. We are Tommen Partners. You can support the channel by by buying your equipment through there. Costs you no extra and helps support the channel. So it's a, a win-win, frankly. All right, so for this second sound, uh, basically kept everything the same. And uh, I just knocked the gain out, really. So we, we took some gain off. We went down to 9 a.m. with the gain, just to give us a little bit more clarity and a little bit less heaviness in the second guitar part. <laughs> that's how it sounds in isolation let's hear how it sounds as part of the track
Okay, so for the third and final part, I, I just, I did what basically I think everyone wants to do with this pedal and this sound really. I just turned the, uh, I turned the gain up to max just to see how it sounds, you know. Um, I think it sounded all right. So before we go on and have a listen to the, uh, the last part, uh, this is how it sounds, by the way. Biblical. It's biblical sounding. Yeah, before we uh, go on to the last section of our song and conclude our first of 11 uh, demo run throughs using the IR2 with all of its different sounds. Uh, I should say again that um, the track that we played at the beginning was a, a kind of rough mix and master that I did of the whole thing before we got into the song. And then what I'll do as well, just in case you missed it, is I'll put that track directly after this last run through. So the first time on this video that uh, that you uh, that you hear the song, it's roughly mixed and mastered by yours truly. Not we'd spend a huge amount of time in it. You know, we'd cut a hours work, but uh, and the last time, the one after this, will also be the full Dubru version that I just spent an hour or so kind of fiddling with a little bit, mixing, mastering, running a through running a few a few of my favorite sort of plugins and bits and a few bits and pieces you know how it is uh, anyway i think uh, that's going to be the end of my talking to you so thank you very much i hope you enjoy the rest of the video um like and subscribe if you want if you don't don't you know you probably haven't even got this far to be honest so uh, it's quite a long one this one you know so yeah, like, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you think. I don't mind whether it's good, bad or indifferent particularly, you know. And uh, I will see you again real soon for more Wazza stuff, um, IR2 boss stuff. That's what I'm, I'm on a bit of a Wazza tip at the moment. See you real soon. Oh, and I'll leave links to other videos in the in the bottom as well, in the description. You'll see everything you might need. <laughs>